the circle time. Glad you could join us today. Check into your body. Do you have your flat feet, your flat bottom, your calm, safe body, and your quiet mouth with your eyes on the action? Great work. Let's look at our schedule real quick. We have our readings, our calendar, our weather, our map, and then our story. Let's get started with that hello song. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. We're glad you came today. Hi, everyone. Look at the mood meter. Where are you? Are you in the high energy or low energy? The comfortable or uncomfortable space? That high energy and uncomfortable red zone where you might be feeling angry or frustrated or just mad about something. Or are you in that low energy and uncomfortable blue zone where you might be feeling sick or tired or just sad? Or are you in that low energy and comfortable green zone where you're feeling calm and relaxed? Or are you in that high energy and comfortable yellow zone where you're feeling happy or silly or surprised about something? Check in. We'll wait. today. So our greeting is all done. We're moving on to our calendar. So we know we're in the month of August. We also know that yesterday was a Wednesday, so today is a Thursday, and it is the third full week, so it's the 20th. Let's put that arrow on our board, and then we'll write it in our notes. Thursday, T-H-U-R-S-D-A-Y, August, A-U-G-U-S-T, 20th, and the year is 2020. Great work, everyone. So our calendar is all done. We're going to move on to our weather. So you're going to look, look, look out your window to see what you can see. Here in North Bend, Washington, it is looking very cloudy today. Let me check real quick. It is going to be cloudy and 76 degrees, so it's going to feel hot and it's going to be cloudy. Let's write that in our notes. Cloudy, C-L-O-U-D-Y. And it is 76 degrees and hot, H-O-T. Great work, everyone. So our weather is all done. Let's move on to our math. And we are doing our bowling. So all of our problems start with 10. Let's check as we put them up that we really have our 10 pins. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, eight didn't want to stay up. There he is. Ten. Rolling the ball. I'm going to scoot all the way over here and roll the ball. How many did we get down? We got zero down. So we're going to write that zero. How many are still standing? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Writing it in our math problem. Let's say it 
together. 10 minus zero equals 10. Great work, everyone. We're gonna roll again. See if we can get some pins down this time. to our story. Giraffes can't dance. Looks like he's dancing to me. Let's see what happens. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long, slim, but his legs were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. at standing still and munching shoots of trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at his knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold the dan jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance, jungle dance. 
And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it comes to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthog started waltzing, and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was ele elegant and bold. <gasps> the chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel, and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lion saw him coming and they soon began to roar. <gasps> hey, look at clumsy Gerald. The animals all sneered. Gerald can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon had, can be so beautiful he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, called a cricket who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin, the, then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his legs out, up, out sideways and he swing, swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leaped up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I am dancing. Yes, I am dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. 
but Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. That is our story about the giraffe who they said couldn't dance. But it looked like he learned how at the end. So let's make our rainbow sentence. We're going to start with our noun, our yellow word. And I think that should be our giraffe. And I think our adjective should be the description of what they said he was. He was tall. So let's get started with our yellow and orange word, which is tall and giraffe. G I R A F F E and tall, T A L L. We'll use the article A, a tall giraffe. And what did he learn how to do in this story? He learned to dance. So I'm going to use that as my green word, my verb, dance. He danced joyfully because he was very happy when he started dancing. Joy. So he was full of joy. And where was he? He was in the forest or the jungle. So let's write that in the jungle. Let's see that picture real quick. They said where he was right there in the jungle. So we'll write that word jungle So that is our story about Gerald the giraffe. I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.